Hello guys, Lord X is here, your gracious host and fellow gamer. Uh, and we're back in with Neo, I'm on the continue screen, and I'm actually filming this before the last video I sent up. And there's a reason for that. The last video was, think of it as a little friendly banter, a little bit of a troll video. Yes, it was the boss video. Yes, I beat the boss with the help of a friend because it was just nice to see how quickly I could actually defeat it. Yes, I did say, oh yeah, I couldn't beat the boss. I got smashed to pieces. But in truth, it probably wasn't that true. No, it wasn't true at all. Um, I thought I'd add that up to like, show what it's like when it is easy so now you'll see the video of me doing it on my own um and it well i'm not going to say it wasn't hard it fucking was uh but you'll see me back in same level same armor same gear because i haven't progressed anywhere uh it was before the previous video but i thought it'd be fun to go back and have a little fuck around see what you could do in this area with a friend the stuff i cut out the last video uh, was me and him sort of darting around, killing other enemies, finding what there is to find the locale, and there's not much more, in all honesty. You go up to the left, and there's a shrine, there's a little cave where a load of people die, and you just get some more Amrita. There's nothing much more there. Anyway, with that being said, now you're going to get a, a boss fight video with me actually doing it, doing it. I didn't do any commentary, because I don't do any commentary in boss fights in games like this, because it is hard, it is hard. But um, one thing I figured out before we went in, and it may look like I'm actually slightly more skillful in this video than I, uh, than I sometimes let on. Yeah, something I didn't have to do when I had my friend with me was uh, do a lot of dodging backwards and forwards. We could just run and we smashed the boss up. I just wanted to see, again, I wanted to see how easy it was. Uh, I put that clip in as well because it was quicker in context for the video, it was an easier upload. But I've uh, looked through my other previous gameplay and shaven down, completely cut down, this clip of just me fighting the boss. So just in case you were interested, this is episode 2 of what was affectionately named episode 6, uh, Neo episode 6, Boss Rape. So I hope you enjoy. So here we are guys, going in. And I managed to shave this clip down to a good time, uh, but the whole so fight itself should last uh, about six minutes, maybe a little bit longer. <clears throat> yeah, and I get in here, and uh, when I was doing this, again, before, uh, before doing it with my friend, I knew, I mean, I had died, don't get me wrong, I had died, I had lost to this thing at least twice. I think this is my third attempt. <clears throat> yeah, third or fourth attempt. Um, but yeah, I had died to this thing several times and it was pissing me off. And then I realised something. I wasn't actually dodging anywhere near enough. I was only dodging to get out of the way of its shit. I wasn't dodging to get in and do the attacks. And as long as it wasn't creating yokai pollution to drain my stamina, I don't see why that was an issue. Here I actually changed to the heavier stance thinking oh, I'll do more damage to it. I immediately regret that because your dodging is not as good. So... It's a rinse, like every other boss, it's a rinse and repeat pattern. And I'll, <clears throat> and once again, I'll uh, do the same with every other boss. I'll do, always do, always show me beating it on my own. Because, okay, this time it was a little bit of fun to just say, oh yeah, I, I had to beat it with a friend. But there's not really an achievement in that. Yes, it's nice to make the game progress that way, or the story progress that way. But there isn't any other achievement for that. So anyway, Omiyoki it swings these fucking giant balls around, as you can see. It's quite obvious. Um, and he loves to smash with them. Yeah, he fucks you up. You saw in the last video. I, w I wasn't lying in the last video. I gave you his attack pattern. You saw what he can do. The objective here is to stay the fuck out of his way and smash him as much as possible. Although my hits are doing next to nothing because I'm using the light stance on dual wield. Which is how I get about, how I don't get hit. Um, I do get hit several times in this. In fact, I nearly die on two occasions, I believe. Uh, but yeah, get those fucking chains off him. They're the issue. And then I change to living weapons. Do some major damage and stagger the fuck out of him. Uh, yeah, get out of there before he uh, starts fucking me up again. And I resort back to being able to use my health. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I... I'm not doing much damage as standard to him, and again, get hit like that, it takes off half your bar or more, and he has um, consecutive hits, sorry, consecutive hits, 
why he's uh why he's staggered sometimes. But yeah, the key is to literally, especially if you're a light, a lightly armoured dual wielder or a lightly armoured weapon wielder of any kind like me, is like I nearly died there again as well, is to literally dash in, dash out, keep out of the yokai pollution as much as possible. I'm not successfully doing that here, I have to admit, uh, <clears throat> and just stay the fuck away from him. Dash in, a couple of slices, dash back out. Very fast, very quick. You're not doing a lot of damage, but in an area like this, you've got no other enemies to worry about. And sometimes this is why I forget my ability to do this. Uh, because I'm trying to survey the surrounding areas if there's multiple enemies. Obviously, for this boss, it's not necessary. Or well, for any boss. Well, it depends if they have ads or not. However, yeah, we, uh, we, take, we were taking him down quite quickly. Much further than I shoot you in the playthrough I got beat. And that previous playthrough, the, the thing I shoot you, the, uh, the previous clip I shoot you where I was getting beaten. I was trying to do it then. That's uh, that's not like some sort of fake clip where I allow myself to get beat. I don't do that shit. Like, that was me getting a beat down. But I thought I'd put it in with me succeeding with a friend. Uh, rather than me doing this single player where it's kind of a whitewash. I've kind of got my technique down. Um, yeah. And then I play back through the whole entire level. I've cut a lot of stuff out of this video just to bring you the boss fight. Uh, of us just going around, hacking up the whole environment, him sort of showing me the environment more. Because uh, it's handy when you have someone that kind of knows more what they're doing. Or you've got the more confidence of having two people, nothing stands in your way. So I was just exploring the environment more. There was nothing I missed. There was literally nothing I missed apart from the shrine cave to the left. So it wasn't a big deal. Anyway, so Omriyoki's on his last legs. <clears throat> and his pattern doesn't change much. He gets a little bit more sporadic, but nothing major. And this is for the first major boss of this game, the one where there is no hand holding, no easiness to it. Uh, you just gotta keep away from shit like that. I was lucky there, it just missed me. Uh, but yeah, and just slice and dice, that's all there is to it. So dodge in, dodge out, little but often. Little but often. You don't need to fuck yourself up like that, because I could have died there. I could have easily died. That second hit could have ended me, but it didn't, and I was lucky. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed killing Omriyoki, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again in the next video of Neo. But as always, I've been Lord Exus, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you, and I'll see you all in a bit.